Hey everybody, this is Brother Paxton. We're coming down now to the end of day three of our Gettysburg Battlefield Prayer Tour 2012. We're standing here overlooking this valley. This is where the Army of Northern Virginia had two 10-pound Parrot cannons. They were from Longstreet's Corps, Hood's Division. This was Henry's Battalion and Riley's Battery Station right in here. And the, the valley down below there. I want to take just a moment to talk to you about the clips that we tape at these Battlefield Tour. Um, as you can tell from the time that we have, which is anywhere from three to seven minutes or so, we just get, give a basic shell of much deeper words, much deeper messages. And I want to encourage those of you, if you enjoy these clips, if you enjoy the, the little nuggets that we try to bring out, you can go to our website, www.acts2618ministries.com, and you can download full-length sermon messages. Some of the concepts that we're introducing on this Battlefield Prayer Tour will actually become messages that we preach in our church or other churches around the country when we go there and you'll be able to download those messages for free and people that support our ministry uh, whether it's by a one-time love offering or monthly partnership will get a hard copy a CD copy of all of the downloads that we put up so I just want to encourage you to do two things first of all to listen to the messages listening uh, by way of the website or download it from the website and burn your own disc. We encourage you to do that. We encourage you to pass them out to your friends so that they can hear the Word of God that we're preaching. And also we encourage you to become a partner with our ministry and help us to distribute Bibles around the world, help us to feed hungry people, uh, help us to continue to be able to travel and to meet people and minister to them one-on-one. -on -one. So this is Brother Paxton. Uh, we've got just a little bit left here today of the Battlefield Prayer Tour, and we'll be right back at you tomorrow. We'll see you a little further down the road. We just left the site of Armistead's Brigade up, up there. This is the Kemper Brigade, the 24th Virginia. Actually, it was the 1st, the 3rd, the 7th, the 11th, and the 24th Virginia. And they were lined up all along here for the day of Pickett's Charge, which is right over there. What, a, what an awesome place. This is almost... To an American, this is almost sacred ground, and, and it was here where actually, in a strange sense, the healing of our nation began because it took this battle to begin to jar some people loose of their plans and their goals, and, and God had His way through that whole Civil War anyway, but right here in Gettysburg, in a strange sense, was actually where the healing began. It's just an honor and a privilege to begin to even be here. The scripture I read for a clip a while ago talking about a time to, to have war and a time to have peace, a time to heal, a time to kill, a time to heal, etc. In that bloodshed at Gettysburg was the seeds for the healing of our nation. It seems strange to our human reasoning and understanding, but that was a seed that was sown. This battle uh, over the three days here was a seed that was sown that would ultimately bring healing and restoration in the United States of America over the issue of slavery and other things that took place. So this is Kemper's Brigade. Armistead was down there. And we're going to head to the South Carolina Memorial will be our next stop. This is one of the many memorials to soldiers and sailors of the Confederacy, the Battle of Gettysburg. side it's got represented Mississippi, Alabama, Louisiana, Virginia, Tennessee, Missouri, Maryland. That's on this side. Here we are on a little round top. See way over there is the Pennsylvania Monument. And then over this way Devil, will be Devil's Den when we get around there. Tour guides are out today.
Well, we're getting ready to walk on over in Devil's Den for a while. This is one of my favorite places on the battlefield. And around back is the Confederate sharpshooter's position uh, where we had our pictures taken in there one time in 2009. So we're just going to go walk up in there for a while and then we'll get back with you a little later on down the road.